Welcome to Advent Lutheran. I'm Brian Richards, and I want to share a program with you called Faith Through a Pandemic. Wherever you go, you hear about it. If you turn on the TV, you'll hear about it. If you go on the internet, you'll hear about it. Even in your newspaper, you'll hear about it. The problem is, we're worried that COVID-19 is tearing us apart. How are we torn apart? In numerous ways. Kids are being torn apart from their schools. We're being distanced from our families. In some cases, we're torn apart from the things we love to do. And in the worst cases, this pandemic has torn us apart from beloved dear ones of our family who have died from this, this virus. But here's the key. I don't think it's a time to panic because we have to remember what's most important. Three important things. Number one, remember that we are loved. We are loved by Christ, always. Christ is by our side throughout it all. Number two, we have to be patient. Things will we'll have an understanding at some point, maybe not at this moment. And last but not least, the importance of our faith. That'll bring it all together. In the end, we'll be just fine if we believe in Christ and have faith. I'll prove it really does work. I brought along a bag. You need a bag? And take some time to think about the little blessings in your life. For example, a little blessing in my life has been that I've had more time to do some things that I neglected. For example, reading the Bible. I have more time to do that now. That's a little blessing. It causes a little smile. <laughs> If you think of your little blessings, maybe you've had more time to spend with your family. That causes a little smile. <laughs> All kinds of little blessings. If you think of one little blessing, it could appear in this bag. It, well, that was good. <laughs> I don't know which one of you thought of it, but there's a little blessing, sure. <laughs> oh, okay, you're getting the idea. <laughs> little blessing, yeah. But now, okay, <laughs> stop with the little blessings. Okay. <laughs> you're taking me very seriously. Okay, I'll take these. <laughs> Look, I said think of one little blessing. <laughs> you guys are really getting into this. I, I tell you what, um, oh, someone had a really big blessing too. This one's a little one, but check out the really, really big blessing. <laughs> the big blessing is that Christ is with us through all of this. Now I know you want to know how I do this trick. I don't usually reveal my secrets, but I'm going to tell you the secret to this one. I use a magic wand. It's a small one, but you'll, let me pull it out so you can see it. Yeah, a magic wand. That's how you do these tricks. Yeah. Well, I think it's time to teach you how to do a magic trick. And if you stick around for the rest of the show, I'm going to tell you how to do the trick. Okay? I'm going to teach it to you. Let me show you. This is, this is a way I get you to stay till the end. Yeah. Hey, you may have noticed that I have a little box here. This little box, it's my emergency box. Right now, I'd say we're in a sense of emergency with the way our world is. It's important to have a backup plan. A magician has backup plans, too. When I do a card trick, if it goes wrong, I've got the emergency box right here. <laughs> Our current situation, you know what your emergency box is? Prayer. Now, I have a story to tell, and this is a story when I was in school, so it was a long time ago. Uh, but I was in, like, second grade, and a teacher taught me a very important lesson, and one that I want to talk to you about today, too, that, that I mentioned at the beginning. She had a tube on her, her desk, and I was very intrigued by it because I wondered what was inside. You see, I was a very curious young man, so whenever I wanted to find out something, I would usually take the initiative and do it. For example, when she said, this, there's something in this tube that's special. It's the mother of all diamonds, she said. This is the mother of all diamonds. And I thought, what's the mother of all diamonds? I was very curious. I wanted to know what was inside. So it was time for me to go hand in my homework, I went up to her desk and said, here's my homework. And she said, don't look in the tube. I said, okay, I won't look in the tube. I really wanted to look in the tube. So then later, I had to do a math problem up at the board. So I said, I'll do the math problem. I went up there. She said, don't look in the tube. I said, all right, I won't look in the tube. 
did the math problem and sat down. Finally, we did an art project. Well, guess what? She went to the art room to get some construction paper. Guess where I went? To the tube. <laughs> I went right to the tube. I lift the tube up, and sure enough, I found a glass of rocks. I was rather disappointed. I said, what? What are these rocks? These aren't diamonds, they're rocks. And right then, guess who came in the room? The teacher. Yeah, that's right. She said, Brian, what are you holding? I said, nothing. <laughs> she said, what's behind your back? I said, nothing. She said, show me your hand. I said, nothing. <laughs> she said, the other hand. I said, nothing. She said, Brian, what do you have? I said, I couldn't wait. I was rather concerned. I wanted to see what the mother of all diamonds were. And I, I was curious and I looked. And, well, I don't understand. These are rocks. They aren't diamonds. And she said, Brian, that's the message I was going to tell you all at the end of the day. But since you went it early, I'll tell it now. She said, look at that rock. It's a piece of coal, actually. And you may not know this, but the coal is the mother of all diamonds. It gets buried in our earth, and it gets compressed over the years, centuries, and changes. You see, this rock is rough, with rough edges. People are like that, too. Some people have rough edges. But when they learn how to be work with people, and they learn lessons throughout their life, they smooth out just a little bit. People are kind of like that too. So she put this one in her coffee cup. She liked to drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> she said, now look at this other one. This one's a little bit different. It's a little smoother on one side. You see, as time goes through and we learn how to deal with things, we change too. Pretty soon after a while, look, one whole side of the rock is smooth, the other side's got a sharp edge. Still work to do. Eventually, the rock gets smoother and smoother and smoother until it eventually takes on the characteristics of a diamond. And she took this diamond, or excuse me, this rock, and she put it on the table. And she said, Brian, what I was trying to explain to you is that each of you has a diamond inside waiting to be discovered. And with that, she took the tube, she put it on top of the glass, she waved her hand once, took the tube off, and said, you see, the truth is, if you work on yourself and become the best person you can, you'll find that diamond that's inside you. Each and every one of you will find your diamond. And she took the one rock, and she said to me, Brian, I want you to keep this as a souvenir, as a remembrance of the fact that you need to work on something. You need to work on patience. <laughs> and that was her story to me. And one of the points of this show today is that we have to be patient during this time. It's hard, I know. Um, things have changed. Things aren't the way we're used to having them. But with patience and trusting in Christ, we'll get through this. Your name? Darby. Darby, nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Good. You're going to help me with this incredible... Oh, yeah, come on in a little bit. You try to stay in between these two spots. There you go. You're going to help me with the card trick. Have you ever done magic before? Uh, attempted to. Attempted. Okay. Well, you could be successful. That's good. i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have you select a card. Now, you'll notice that all the cards are different. I'd rather I get the credit than the card. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're all different. So what you're going to do, I'm just going to spread through the cards, and at some point you're going to say stop. And I'm going to split the deck at that point, and that's going to be your card, okay? Yep. Right, so I'll just go through and you say stop. Stop. Right there. Split it right at this point. Cards here. Take that card. Don't let me see it. You can take a look at it. In fact, to make it different, Darby, than any other card in the entire world, I'm going to get a pen. A big pen. And on the face of that card, you can use that table. I'll turn white. You're going to put on the face, the other side, don't, don't turn it yet. You're going to put your initials, okay? Put your initials on the card. That way we'll know that it's Darby's card, not anyone else's card. It'll be his very own card. Have you done that, Darby? Uh, yep. Okay, can I show the viewers what I Sure, you can go ahead and show them. I'll turn this way. Now we're all in it. Good idea. All right. Maybe you should be a director, too. <laughs> Place your card face down right there. Okay. Do you know any magic words? Uh, not many. Okay, uh, not many. That's a different one. I haven't heard that. Do you have a magic wand with you? Uh, I don't believe so. You didn't bring one? They told you it was a magic show, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> take the deck. I'll get, you, I'll get you a magic wand. You can mix them up some more if you like. Oh, here it is. All right, Darby. Take those back. I'll hold on to that. All right, good. 
There, Darby, it's not polite to point. <laughs> Come in a little closer. There we go. You're gonna, we're going to find the car together. Is that your car? No. Is that your car? No. It's somewhere in the middle. Take the one, tap the tap. Just like that. Is that your car? No. <laughs> Well, I forgot to mention I get three tries. <laughs> this time, get ready to wave the wand at the deck. Ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Nothing yet. Maybe twice. Wave two times. One, two, three. Perfect. I... And there is your card. Not only did I find your card, but I made your initials disappear. Not my card. <laughs> okay, you do it. <laughs> I, I think, um, you know, sometimes things don't work out the way we plan. Mm -hmm. Today's one of them. Uh, oh, I got, you weren't here before. I mentioned that I have an emergency box here. I kept it here from the beginning of the show. In this emergency box, what I do is I keep a card. I want you to take that card, would you? Open it up. Oh, is that your card? <laughs> Shut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it pays to have an emergency. Safety and emergency. Oh my God. Is he ready? Here it is. The magic wand with three ends. Thank you very much. Thank you. What? It's the magic wand with three ends. No, it is. Mm -mm. It is. No, it is. It's. It. Mm -mm. Well, if you can, if you count with me, there's one end. There's two ends, and this is the end of faith through a pandemic. You guys have a great afternoon. I want to thank Advent Lutheran for having me over and uh, thank Kirsten for inviting me. Thank you so much. Have a great day.